Special education enrollment is up in the state, but what do the numbers look like in Lane County? KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live in the studio with an answer. Sarah? Brandy, numbers vary from district to district. Some districts are in line with those state numbers, while others are seeing fewer students enrolled in special education. In Springfield, we've actually seen the reverse over the last several years. And we believe that's a direct result of our work with response through intervention, which is often referred to as RTI. Response through intervention is designed to help kids at an early age so kids can develop and excel in school. We're working really hard to capture kids when they're young in elementary school who may be struggling and get to them and provide them with the support they need so that they don't ever need to enter into special education services. Springfield administrators credit programs like RTI for the 15 percent decrease in special education enrollment over the past four years. But enrollment for third graders with specific learning disabilities like in reading and math are faring even better. We've seen those third graders decrease by half the number that needs special education services. And so it's really um, great to begin to see the fruits of that labor. But the Lane Education Service District says its numbers are more in line with the rest of the state. And special education enrollment for students with autism is especially high. And from my perspective, that is for two reasons. One is that we're more knowledgeable about autism spectrum. And secondly, we have, we have, we have better ways of identifying the students. He says students who may have not been identified as having autism are now getting the help they need. Interestingly, though, he says there's been a decrease in students enrolled for emotional disturbance because of positive behavior intervention support. Many of our school districts, in fact, almost all of our districts across Lane County are using those types of positive behavior supports in their schools. But Superintendent Sullivan says despite the numbers, they're moving forward and are looking for ways to improve programs to reduce the number of special ed students. Live in studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KZI 9 News.